the Minmaj law is simple and it has invariably manifested itself throughout history. It is this. Wars erupt whenever and wherever a country has a minority of the same ethnicity as the majority in its neighboring country. Consider Israel. Surrounded by Arab countries, it has an Arab minority of its own, having expelled, ethnic, ethnically cleansed, hundreds of thousands more. Israel has fought six wars with its neighbors, and good intentions notwithstanding, looks set to fight more. It is subjugated to the Minmaj law, enslaved by its steady and nefarious domination. Or take Nazi Germany. World War II was the ultimate manifestation of the Minmaj rule. German minorities throughout Europe were either leveraged by Germany or actively collaborated with it to justify one Anschluss after another. Austria, Czechoslovakia, Poland, France, Russia, a parade of big brotherly intervention by Germany on behalf of allegedly suppressed kinfolk. Lebensraum and Volkdeutsch were twin pillars of Nazi ideology. And of course there is Yugoslavia, its charred remnants agonizingly, agonizingly writhing in a post-Kosovo world. Serbia fought Croatia and Bosnia and Kosovo in order to protect the siege and hysterical local Serbs. Croats fought Serbs and Bosniaks to defend dilapidated Croat settlements. Albanians fought the Serbs and the Macedonians through the good services of the Kosovars in order to protect the Kosovars, their Albanian kin kinfolk. And the fighting is still on. This dismembered organism, once a flourishing country, dazed and scorched, still attempts to blindly strike at its former members, inebriated by its own blood. Such is the power of the Minmaj law.